Hello world, so in this video I'm going to be downloading Ledger Live, so I'm going to ledger.com forward slash start and you can see here there's a few things you have to click accepting the cookies. I'm going to click download, you're going to click the Windows app because I'm on Windows but there is also a Mac and a Linux app that you can download. So my I'm using the Ledger Nano S Pro. Um, arrived yesterday and I've already put a little video up explaining what you should expect to see um, when you get your Nano S Pro. So um, once that's downloaded I'm just going to click it and follow the install steps. So once you do double click the EXE it will, if you're on Windows, it will probably bring up the uh, security dialog box and it will ask you to accept and allow the software to run. You'll be prompted with the uh, install window, so I'm just installing it to C, which is the default option. Click install and allow that to install. It doesn't take too long. Okay, and then once that finishes, um, you can just click, click finish and you can tell it if you want to run Ledger Live straight away. So let that finish and Ledger Live should open. And we can see here it's just asking again for permission to run, which I've given it. And there we go. This is the first screen you should see. Welcome to Ledger Live. No device. Get started. So click the get started. Accept the terms of use. Make sure you read those carefully just by clicking on those links. And then select what you've got. Obviously, we've got the Nano S Pro. And then it's got some instructions. So if you've got a recovery phrase already, we're doing a first time setup. Um, so we're going to click that button and then it gives you a little bit of gump on access to your crypto. Um, they're stored on the blockchain, but you need a private key to access them, which is your ledger and your ledger is where the private key is stored. So your crypto is never actually stored on your ledger. This is quite a common misconception and that you should own your private key, never give it to anyone. Um, it keeps your your keys always kept offline on your on your ledger. It's never never online, okay. And you can validate transactions with your ledger. So whenever you send crypto to another wallet or to an exchange, it will need permission granted by the ledger. So let's get started and set up the Nano. Let's do this, okay. This is the best way to get started. Plan thirty minutes and take your time. Grab a pen to write with and uh, stay alone and choose a safe and quiet environment. Okay, so this is because you're going to be writing down your 24 word key phrase and that's very important to make sure that nobody has access to that. So let's click OK, I'm ready. Please be careful, make sure you follow the instructions on this app at every step. Got it. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the Nano, connect your device to the computer with the USB cable, do that now. Okay, and then you're going to learn how to use the Nano. The Nano's got some very simple instructions on it that just teach you how to navigate it using the left and right buttons and also how to set it up as a new device and um, in the next step you create your PIN code. So read through that. We're now onto the PIN code. Now use an eight digit PIN code. The maximum PIN size is eight digits you can have pick something that's not unique, do that now. So to do that, you use the left and right buttons to uh, go through and navigate through to pick the, the numbers you want. And then double tap with both buttons to confirm the number. If you make a mistake, you can go back. Okay, there's a little icon. And it looks like the, the little sort of delete key, like a, a go back. So you can just double tap that, tap both buttons together and that will take you back. Um, one space and then you can or two space depending how many times you click it and then you can um, change erase the wrong part of your pin and put the correct part in make sure you remember this pin okay and make sure again I'm saying use the uh, eight digits okay because actually if someone gets this then they can actually um, use your ledger so if they know their pin if they know your pin and they know they've got your ledger physically got it in hand they can access your funds so you want your pin to be something that isn't easily guessable okay so we're on to the important part now which is the recovery phrase uh, your recovery phrase is a secret list of 24 words that backs up your private keys your nano generates a unique recovery phrase okay ledger does not keep a copy of this the only person who should have a copy of these words 
are you and you should not share them and not give them to anyone. Don't post them online. Do not take a picture of them. This is your phrase to recover your ledger if anything goes wrong. Okay, so you have to click to say, I understand that if I lose this recovery phrase, I'm basically in trouble. So take your recovery sheet, grab a blank recovery sheet and write down the 24 words that will be displayed on the ledger. Now, once you've done that and you've written down the 24 words, being really careful, you'll need to reconfirm your recovery phrase on the device. So use the left and right buttons to scroll through the different words and enter them in order by double clicking both buttons together when you find the relevant words. For example, word one, if that was pulse, you would then push both buttons to confirm that or you would cycle through until you found the correct word you wanted. It then moves on to word two, all the way up to 24. So it is a little bit time consuming, but it's really important that you, you do confirm your recovery phrase to make sure you've got it written down properly and correctly. Okay, you repeat that for all the words and then we can click next and move on to the next step. And the next step is to hide your recovery phrase. Uh, it's your last chance to access your crypto. If you cannot use your Nano, you must keep it in a safe place. Okay, and there's some tips. Never enter it on a computer or smartphone. Don't take a picture of it. Never share the 24 words with anyone. Always store it in a secure place out of sight. Ledger will never ask you for your recovery phrase. And if anyone asks you for it, it's a scam. Click OK and you are done. Your ledger is configured, but it wants us to take a little quick quiz. So let's do this. As a ledger using a crypto is stored on the blockchain. Okay, it's not stored on the Nano le uh, ledger ever. Uh, if it's no longer secure, yeah, that's a problem. Okay, it needs to be safe. Your private key is always offline. Always. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Uh, let's click next steps. And it does a genuine check. So basically the ledger is connected to my computer. I'm just going to click next and it checks um, that it's legitimate. So we push both buttons in together to authorize the ledger manager on the device. And there we go. All good. Your ledger Nano S Plus is genuine and ready to use with Ledger Live. So let's continue. And it says add an account to get started. Well, the first thing I want to do is actually add an app. I want to add the uh, the Cosmos app. Um, so I do everything in pretty much Juno or Atom. So it wants me to select the crypto asset I want. So I'm just going to scroll down and see if I can find Cosmos. So here's Cosmos Atom and continue. Checking app dependencies. Just wait a second. It installs the app on the ledger. And you can open the Cosmos app on the device by pushing both buttons on the menu. So we'll do that now. It now says accounts synchronizing. And this is where everything tends to break. And this is where I am not a fan of Ledger Live one little bit. So if we just watch, it will synchronize, it will synchronize, it will synchronize, blah, 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 trying to create an account. And we get this message here. So at this point, I was like, oh, no, it doesn't work. And actually, it doesn't work. Um, the For some reason, the... You can't seem to add... I can't seem to add an account on Ledger Live. So... I did a bit of digging and it turns out that the, the libraries they're using aren't really compatible or something and they need to upgrade it to uh, Java, they use JavaScript. So I was like, well, this kind of sucks. So I've paid £70 for a ledger and it's not working on Ledger Live with Cosmos. Well, to be honest, I wasn't really planning on using Ledger Live anyway. And the good thing is that the Cosmos app did copy across to the ledger successfully. So actually the Cosmos app is on the ledger, so it will work with Kepler with no problems. However, a direct shout out to Ledger. If you're going to sell a product and say it works with the Cosmos network, 
sort it out, make sure it works, because actually that's not what you expect. That's not good product control. That's not good uh, customer service. So do sort that out or lose customers, plain and simple. Um, so let me just quickly show you what you do once you're at this point and the Cosmos app is on the ledger. Okay, so let's get Kepler installed. So just install Kepler from Chrome and add to Chrome, add extension. Okay, and that should install the extension into the Chrome browser. Uh, I don't think because it's just a test account. So uh, open Kepler. And then you've got some options. So create new account, we just create a standard wallet without Ledger. What you want to do is just go to import Ledger. At the bottom, don't import an existing account. Uh, give it a name, this can be anything. Okay, and set up a password, confirm password. Okay, and uh, keep this password safe. It's just another layer of security. Okay, click next, and then it opens the connection to your Ledger device. So make sure it's installed, plugged into your computer. Open the Cosmos app on the Ledger device. Okay, and tick use alternative USB connection. Click next. And what that will do is that will uh, create and that will open up the Kepler wallet and that will be secured with your ledger. So then you can go and do whatever transactions you want. Um, like I said, I do hope that Ledger do fix the Ledger Live issue. It is frustrating um, because I did want to play about and see see how that all worked. Um, but you can always use some of their other uh, assets, apps. So for instance, Bitcoin, for example, if you want to have a play about with that. Um, so yeah, let me know if this was helpful. I didn't show the actual device or the setup of the device because uh, for two reasons. One, just for my own personal security reasons. I don't want to film my ledger regardless of how I do it. I could do a demo account and then wipe it. But actually the, 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 the ledger live gives a really good visualization of what's going on with a ledger and how it should work. So just take, spend some time with ledger live, go through that and you shouldn't have any problems um, apart from this synchronization issue if it hasn't been resolved by the time you get round to using it. However, like I say, I never plan to use Ledger Live, um, only sort of Kepler wallet. So it's not really an issue uh, in that sense. So uh, comment below how you're getting on with your portfolios, you know, any airdrops coming up that you're looking forward to. Um, I'm hoping that I made the snapshot for Jackal. Uh, so hopefully, but you know, there's always loads coming up. So do comment below and let me know if you've got any uh, news on some upcoming ones that could be, uh, could look quite good. Thanks for uh, watching the video and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future crypto content.